Studneck Aquatics here. I am going to review another cigar today. Pick one out of my walk-in. And I believe I'm going to do an economy cigar. Incidentally, I'm getting quite a few cigars in here. I will do a tour of this thing here one of these days. Um, anyway, I want to try one of these Victor Sinclair Tuskers. I've never had them before. It's an economy cigar, so we're going to give that a shot. I will get this thing lit up and then we will start this review and once again this is the Victor Sinclair Tusker it's an economy cigar um, something you can smoke in your yard or, or whatever so I will get this lit and then we'll add more to this okay once again I am reviewing the Victor Sinclair Tusker um, Victor Sinclair sells a number of different cigars most of them are on the lower price end I've never had one with bad construction I've never had one you know, that didn't burn right, and so on and so forth. I've never had the Tusker, I've had the Bohemian. Oh, I've had a number of their different cigars, and they're, you know, they're affordable, and, they're, and I believe they're, they're, they're really good cigars. So, they're not superb cigars, they're not real complex, but they still, they burn well, they're a good economy cigar. Now, this cigar runs about $2 is all it is, so it's a $2 cigar. Um, I believe it is a... It's 5 by 50 yeah, that's what it is. It's 5 by 50 It is from, from the Dominican Republic, and it does have a Connecticut wrapper. This particular one here, I don't think I have this suggested right. This particular one here is a Maduro. I do tend to like Maduros. Um, that kind of puts it out on the, on the medium, uh, mild to medium, in there somewhere. So... It's a firm cigar. It is putting out a tremendous amount of smoke. That's that's a little more than, than what you really want. But sometimes that, that happens on your first light up a cigar, especially with an economy one, you get a little more air on the end. And once you get it burnt down a little ways, then that kind of stops. That's kind of an earthy note to it. Might be just a little hint of pepper, but there's it's mostly pretty much earthy. And the construction is, is, is very good. Um, it's a beautiful cigar. It has a really nice band on it. I think a lot of people look down on cigars and they have, a, they have a tendency to look at the price first. And when it's not an expensive cigar, they say, well, it's going to you know, not be any good. And that, that's not fair. You need to try them at their own merit. And some of them are good, some of them aren't. I've had some very expensive cigars that I did not care for. And I've had some very inexpensive cigars that I really like, especially if they have a Oh, an oily wrapper, an Oscuro wrapper, oily something. I just prefer that. So, anyway, this is the Victor Sinclair Tusker. It's mellow. I mean, it, it, it's pleasant. It's not, it's not harsh. It isn't, you know, it's burning well. It, it's a good, well-constructed cigar. This, for $2, it, it's a good cigar. It doesn't have... A tremendous number of, of flavors in it, like some of the other ones do that are on the higher end. But still, it's it's a good cigar. It'd be a really good cigar for sitting out on your deck or mowing your yard, um, working in the greenhouse, or whatever you're doing. So, I will go ahead and smoke this down a little ways, and I will chime back in on the second third. Okay, I'm on the second third of my Victor Sinclair Tusker, an economy cigar. And a couple of things to note is that... If you smoke a cigar and it makes you kind of nauseous and so forth, in that it makes you feel kind of sick, basically, that's different than smoking a robust cigar, you know, when you don't have a meal ahead of it or something like that. That's just a fairly strong cigar. But if you kind of feel nauseous, which this one doesn't cause that, um, basically the fermentation process wasn't complete. They rushed it and that's what caused you to feel nauseous. And a lot of people who don't smoke cigars, all they ever had was a cheap cigar that was not fermented properly and made them feel nauseous. So they think all cigars are that way. And that is not true. Just because a cigar is not expensive, like this one is $2, doesn't mean that it wasn't fermented properly. This one was. This is, this is actually a pretty good cigar. It has kind of an earthy note. There, there's not a lot of complex flavors to it, but it's good. It's burning pretty good. I mean, it's it's tunneling just a little bit on one side. The ash is hanging on, and that's the indication of long fillers. It's also an indication of quality tobacco. Um, the ash is white or light gray, 
and that is an indication of, of fertile soil. If you smoke a cigar and the ashes is more of a, of a brown or even a dark black or something, then that means that there's less nutrients in the soil, which can cause the cigar to be more acidic. I think I'll do a, I might do a uh, video on it here one of these days, just talking about what to look for in an economy cigar. Because even though there are those people out there that won't smoke a cigar unless it costs $10 or more, there are a lot of really good economy cigars out there. And sometimes it's nice to be able to find a decent cigar for two bucks that you can smoke and is good. If I had any complaint, it's that it smokes too much. It, it's, it's slowing down a little bit. But at first, I just smoke was rolling off this thing. So it is, it is a good cigar. It doesn't burn too hot. Um, also, you want the ash to stay on if it's not long fillers, if it's if it's short fillers, or if it's chopped up, whatever, the ash won't hang on that long. And by keeping a one inch ash on there, it, it keeps your cigar from burning too hot. So overall, this is this is a really good economy cigar. I, I highly recommend it. I think the Victor Sinclair Tusker is a good cigar. I believe you can also get it in just a plain Connecticut wrapper rather than the Maduro. The Maduro takes it a little, a little more flavor. So anyway, that is my um, review of the Victor Sinclair Tusker. And as always, keep smoking cigars.